What's up guys? Welcome back to the episode of Toont Engines. Now today's episode we're gonna go ahead and paint our 1971 Super Beetle. Alright guys, so you guys saw the last episode, you have seen that we went ahead and uh, start sanding down and getting everything ready to go for painting with it, all the bodywork and everything. So right now we have to go ahead and uh, cover it up. So we can go ahead and put some primer on it, then uh, sand it back down with some 350 uh, sandpaper and then go ahead and lay it on our base coat of color which I will be showing y'all here in a little bit. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, start this episode and by the end of this episode guys this car is going to be completely completely redone and rebuilt or repainted to be more exact.
Alright guys, so the Valencia Solo video we took a part and it was completely painted, all the pieces were painted and today is the day we're gonna go ahead and put it back together. We're gonna go ahead and put the trunk, the other trunk, the front trunk, the fenders, some uh what's it called trim on the sides that we got and some like some other stuff we went ahead and got from uh bwbugs.com. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started, get this car completely reassembled. So we can go ahead and uh, take it on our first drive with this new paint job. I'm telling you guys, this car is going to look perfect when it's done. Alright guys, so as y'all see, we basically have the whole car reassembled. We went ahead and put all the freaking uh, fenders, the side steps, the lights in the back. So now uh, we're gonna get to one of like the trickiest things. Well, it's not that tricky if you know like what you're doing. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, connect our new uh, lights that we got. So the problem is that uh, there's no wires that go from like the inside of the car to up here. Like there's no wires that I've been checking. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to create my own uh, power wires and all that and signal wires so I can go ahead and connect this light and have it turn on the way I want to and uh, basically the way I'm gonna do that is with the um my multimeter we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the car on uh, accessory so all the lights will be on and I'm gonna see if I can find which one's the power wire so whenever I pull my um lights on they turn on and also whenever I, I do my turn signals uh they turn on so we're gonna go ahead and uh, figure that out here in a little bit. All right guys, so right now I have my turn signals on and I found my turn signal wire right here, which is the red one. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump. I'm gonna put like another ground from here going that way. And now the next thing I have to do is I'll go ahead and find my uh, running, basically like my running lights. So whenever it gets dark, I can turn on the switch halfway and then it turns on my running lights. So I have to figure out which one's that one now. Alright guys, so I found another wire I need, so I'm basically going to go ahead and jump the yellow wire, power wire to my, uh, I guess, running lights. And then I'm going to jump off from both of these actually, because I need a ground. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the black ground, the black one as my ground, and then the red one as my signal wire. So I can go ahead and uh, get signal to that. So let's go see how this actually works here in a bit. Alright guys, well let's see what happens. I think I got it pretty much uh, wired up, turn the key. Okay, I like where I see. I like where I see. What this one? Oh. Let's go. 
Let's go. All right, guys, Kobe Guard wired up. So that means uh, that our wiring is correct. I got something else I went ahead and got for the video were some, uh, what's it called, some lips for the lights. So we can go ahead and put them on. Alright guys, we got the first side on, we gotta go ahead and move to the other one. Enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video for more future content. And I'll see you all next time.